In the previous video, we um, introduced L'Hopital's rule for indeterminate forms in which the, uh, we are investigating the ratio of the limit of f of x over g of x, in which the top goes to zero and the bottom goes to zero. And uh, L'Hopital's rule says that um, this limit is equal to the limit of the derivatives. Now, one thing I want to make clear is a common mistake. We don't have the quotient rule here. We're not saying that the limit of f over g is equal to the limit of the derivative of the quotient, right? Because if we did that, we'd have to do the quotient rule. Um, this is not what's being said. What it says is that the limit of f over g is the same as the limit of f prime over g prime. Key distinction, so I want to make sure that that's uh, apparent to you. All right, so employing uh, L'Hopital's rule to do some more examples, uh, let's look at the limit as x approaches 0 of, um, let's say, x squared divided by square root of 2x plus 1 minus 1. So to, uh, we've got to first investigate the limit of the top and the limit of the bottom to make sure that we can use L'Hopital's rule. So we look at the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared. That's a nice continuous function, so it's just can plug it in. That's 0 squared, which is 0. On the bottom, we've got the limit as x approaches 0 of um, square root of 2x plus 1 minus 1. Again, a continuous function, so I can plug it in. And so this is equal to the limit of, this is equal to the square root of 2 times 0 minus, or plus 1 minus 1, which is 1 minus 1, or 0. So we've met the requirements, the hypotheses of L'Hopital's rule. The top's going to zero, the bottom's going to zero. And so we can just investigate, well, what's the derivative of the top and what's the derivative of the bottom? So um, the derivative of x squared is 2x, whereas the derivative of square root of 2x plus 1 to the 1 half minus 1. Uh, so this is a chain rule. So it's a derivative of the inside, which is 2 um, times the derivative of the top. So times 1 half 2x plus 1 to the minus 1 half, or simply uh, 2x plus 1 to the minus 1 half. So that's a derivative of the bottom. So using L'Hopital's rule here, and I will be consistent and write L apostrophe H to let you and the reader know that I'm using L'Hopital's rule. I would appreciate if you also took on this um, style to let me as the reader know that you're using L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so using L'Hopital's rule, this is equal to the limit still as x approaches 0, but now it's 2x divided by the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half, or bringing that up, this is simply the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x times the square root of 2x plus 1. This is a continuous function, so this is equal to 2 times 0 times the square root of 0 plus 1, which is simply 0. So the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared divided by the square root of 2x plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So let's throw a uh, trig function in here. Let's look at the limit as um, t 
goes to zero of, um, how about sine of 2t times um, cosecant of 5t. So as t goes to zero, this is zero. As t goes to zero, uh, this, well, we don't even have a ratio here. But what is cosecant? Cosecant is 1 over sine. So I could rewrite this as the limit as t goes to 0 of sine of 2t divided by sine of 5t. So now we do have a ratio, and we can use uh, maybe Lapidus. So we know that the limit as t goes to 0 of sine of 2t is continuous. So this is sine of 0, which is 0. And the limit as t goes to 0 of sine of 5t is also 0. So we've got uh, the uh, hypotheses met for L'Hopital's rule, the top um, if you will, is, is in the limit going to zero. The bottom in the limit is going to zero. So there's an indeterminate form. And so L'Hopital's rule says, okay, well, if we want to investigate this, we could instead investigate their derivatives. So the derivative with respect to t of the numerator, sine of 2t, is simply uh, 2 cosine of 2t, chain rule, and the derivative of the denominator, sine of 5t, chain rule again, is going to be 5 cosine of 5t. So using L'Hopital's rule, this is the limit as t goes to 0 of the ratio of the derivative. So 2 cosine of 2t divided by 5 cosine of 5t. And now this is actually a continuous function since cosine of 0 is 1 and cosine of 0 is 1. And so we could just plug it in and this is 2 fifths. So this is actually uh, um, a problem we would have really difficult time dealing with in terms of arithmetic with uh, uh, infinitesimals, since we've got signs and co or signs, and we can't do a lot of arithmetic. So it would be much difficult to solve this problem without L'Hopital's, but here we go. It's very simple. We just look at the limit of the ratio of the derivatives. Um, let me bring in another um, uh, example using transcendental functions in which uh, we would have a really hard time with our standard approach, but now with the L'Hopital's rule, everything becomes much more simple. So t goes to 0 of t squared of t squared divided by e to the t minus t minus 1. So first off, let's um, take a look the the denot or the numerator as t goes to 0 of t squared. Nice continuous function, so this is 0. And the denominator of e to the t minus t minus 1. Okay, this is continuous, so I can just plug it in. This is e to the 0 minus 0 minus 1. But e to the 0 is 1, so this is 1 minus 1, which is 0. 
So we've met the requirements of Lapitas. So let's go through and, and compute our derivative. So the derivative of t squared we know is 2t. And the derivative of the denominator, um, e to the t minus t minus 1, derivative of e to the t is t, e to the t, derivative of t is 1, derivative of negative 1 is 0. So this is simply e to the t minus 1. So according to uh, L'Hopital's rule, this is equal to the limit as t approaches 0 of 2t divided by e to the t minus 1. Okay, well, we're still in a pickle because the numerator, as t goes to 0, the top approaches 0, and so does the bottom because e to the 0 is 1 and the bottom is going to 0. So we're still in an indeterminate form, but nobody said we couldn't use L'Hopital's rule more than once. So since the top's going to 0, the bottom's going to 0, I'm going to compute their derivatives again. So d dt of 2t is 2, and the derivative with respect to t of e to the t minus 1 is e to the t. And so using uh, L'Hopital's rule a second time, this limit, right, so we've got equality, this limit, according to L'Hopital's rule, is the limit as t goes to 0 of 2 divided by e to the t. Now this is a perfectly good continuous function since at t e or at zero e is e to the zero is one, and so this is equal to two. So that uh, is a handful of examples. Uh, again, uh, students tend to pick up L'Hopital's rule quite quickly, um, uh, but this was only one form, zero over zero. In the next video, I'll introduce what happens if the top's going to infinity and the bottom's going to infinity.